In this video, we will be writing an expression as a single logarithm. And so the guide here is to first apply the power property, which means if you have a coefficient of your logarithmic expression, it does become the exponent of the argument. Then after doing that, you will apply the product and the quotient rules. And you can do these simultaneously at the same time. Um, you just have to remember that uh, since when you're adding logs, you're multiplying the expressions. And when you're subtracting logs, whichever logs you're subtracting are actually in the denominator. So this log, this rule right here is going to be key. So if you have uh, multiple terms, all of the positive log arguments will go in the numerator, and all of the negative log arguments actually go in the denominator. And because you're adding and adding and adding, the, all the positive logarithmic arguments will be multiplied. And then if you're subtracting, 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 that's the same thing as subtracting a whole sum, just not individually, okay? So then you are actually multiplying those arguments in the denominator as well. Now, if we look at example A, it has four log six X minus one fifth log six Z plus six log six W. So the first thing we're gonna do is take those coefficients and apply them as exponents. We are not doing anything with the plus and minuses in the front. So this will become log six X to the fourth power minus log six z to the one fifth power plus log six w to the sixth power. Then we will apply our logs and quotients to write this as one single logarithm. So because we have a minus, I know there's gonna be a fraction bar. Now remember, this is a positive log and this is a positive log. So this argument and this argument are gonna get multiplied together in the numerator. The log that has a negative in the front, this argument will actually go in the denominator. It'll be z to the one fifth. And this is the expression that they're wanting. That is one single logarithmic expression. So for example, the second example, we're doing the same steps. We're taking this coefficient and applying it as an exponent, this coefficient and applying it as an exponent. So we have log base C of 2z plus 1 to the fourth power plus log base C of z plus 7 raised to the 1 fourth power. Now here we only have a positive log and another positive log, which means there is no division bar. We're just going to have this first argument times the second argument. And there's nothing else to do there. It is now in one single logarithmic expression.